A Shoreline leader recently told me that a councilman once called Shoreline residents a bunch of whiny babies. I've also heard people around the lake characterize Shoreline residents as being treated like red-headed stepchildren. Now, I'm not sure what either of these things mean, but I do know that we can and we will change this attitude by voting in this election. In a minute, I'm going to run a video. In that video, you will see a concrete example of why changing that attitude is important to you and your home. You'll see how our being viewed as a respected constituency is absolutely vital. The only way we will become a respected constituency is by voting. As I've said before, our elected officials know exactly who voted. They may not know who you voted for, but they absolutely know if you voted or not. If we want to be a respected constituency and have a voice in what goes on out here, every single one of us needs to vote. We've come a long way to becoming a respected constituency. In the first round of this election, about 50% of the registered voters on the shoreline voted. This is huge. We are the top voting constituency in the city of Fort Worth. Moreover, we made a huge impact in the election. Even though we represent slightly more than 1% of the registered voters, we accounted for 5.5% of the overall district vote. We are quickly earning the title of valued constituency. We now have an enormous opportunity. In the first election, about 5,400 people voted in our district. In the runoff, the overall turnout will be about half of that. What this means is that the shoreline can make an absolutely enormous showing. If we all vote again, we will represent one out of every 10 votes cast in District 7. That's huge. The runoff election will begin next Monday, June 6th, and will run through June 14th, with a final day of voting on June 18th. The voting location in Lake Worth has changed. Instead of the Sheriff's Office, you'll need to go to the Northwest Branch Library, just north of Tarrant County College Northwest Campus. If you haven't been to the library before, you need to go up there just to see the facility. It's beautiful. If you want specific directions, just click the link below. If you voted in White Settlement, you're in luck. The location in White Settlement will be the same as in the last election. Again, if you want directions, just click the link below. I'm now going to play the video of the four Shoreline neighborhood presidents making a presentation to the Fort Worth Planning Commission on the Lake Worth Vision planning process. The Lake Worth Vision is an extremely important process that will affect every resident on the shoreline. What you see is the tail end of a fierce effort by the neighborhood presidents to secure a voice in the plan. In my opinion, this was the most important event for lake residents since the properties were deeded. This is just one of many extremely important initiatives we will be making for you. Here's the meeting. Uh, the areas generally in the far west sector and DRC recommends that the City Plan Commission recommend to the City Council the adoption of the Lake Worth Vision Plan including the revised language pertaining to the formation of the Lake Worth Regional Coordination Committee and to amend the comprehensive plan to incorporate by reference the Vision Plan. We'll uh, open the floor to anyone that wants to speak either for or against the measure. But you certainly all look much happier. <laughs> Good afternoon, Honorable Chair and Commissioners. We'd like to read into the record the letter that we provided earlier this week. It is a scanned version. We have now uh, given you the signed final version of this letter. I'd like to introduce to you uh, again uh, the leaders of the four neighborhood associations, Ms. Pat Heyer, Michael Barnard, Michael Dallas, and myself, Gail Kopp. We fully appreciate the action of the commissioners who voted last month to extend at least 30 days of review period of the Lake Worth Vision Plan so that we representatives of the neighborhood associations could meet and discuss with Mr. Costa, Mr. Harwood, and Ms. Bergdorf of the Planning Development Department some options to the wording of Part 4 that are relevant to the Lake Worth Coordinating Committee 
or LWRCC. And what you see before you on the screen is that, um, that wording. Ms. Bergdorf has now shared with us the additional wording, and Councilman Carter Burdett has uh, agreed to it as well. To summarize, the implementation of the Lake Worth RCC now includes wording specifically to number one, review and recommend to the City of Fort Worth and participating jurisdictions relevant actions re regarding development activity around the lake. And number two, most important to us, it now specifies that the committee should include representatives of the city of, the city of Fort Worth, Tarrant County, surrounding jurisdictions, and may I emphasize watershed neighborhood leaders and other nonprofit stakeholders. That was the issue at hand that we discussed at the March meeting. Together, we four neighborhood association leaders are writing to confirm that we are in agreement with the newly added wording to Park 4. As a citizen group, we will continue to promote the great park scenario first vo voiced by the consultants who in 2008 came together at the request of the City of Fort Worth planners to recommend options for use of this city-owned lake and its surroundings. Further, we anticipate that this vision under the direction of the committee will address important elements as the plan evolves going forward. That is, protection by whatever legal means possible in order to dedicate the open space and city-owned properties currently exhibited in maps on the current Lake Worth Vision Plan we want them as preserved public property for opportunities as future parkland. Promote the best possible safe practices for any gas drilling around this very important water reservoir in order to protect both the water we drink and the air we breathe. And thirdly, collaborate with neighborhood leaders and single family property owners within the accident potential zones, or APZ, to investigate the potential advantages and or disadvantages of avigation easements, which are currently suggested in Part 4, page 69, Part 2.3 of the current plan. I now turn over the remainder of this letter to the uh, president of the Scenic Shores Group, Michael Dallas, who will finalize the letter for you. We further realize that a project of this enormous magnitude requires the cornerstone of a fully functional, community-based organization. Several successful community improvement projects in Fort Worth have used this approach, and we feel there are vital reasons for creating such an organization. First, the establishment of a world-class urban park system will require years of focus and effort. Lake improvement projects currently underway require long lead times, patient execution, and ongoing review. Moreover, as projects are completed, additional uses and improvements will become apparent. New ideas for exciting uses of open space will continue to emerge, and there is every reason to expect that new projects will be added by input from the Lake Worth RCC. Second, in addition to providing recreational opportunities, Establishing such a world-class urban park will allow Fort Worth to be a formidable competitor for attracting top employers to the area. With Fort Worth's future at stake, the entire community needs to come together to support and to be involved in open space preservation and park development. As a collaborative community organization, the newly created Lake Worth Regional Coordinating Committee will provide the mechanism to focus direction and to garner the community's endorsement. It can oversee the progress, propose new projects, and pro provide a hub of communication, and list the community's support. There is no question that without a functioning committee, the vision of such impressive urban park areas will never be realized. With the organization of both government and citizen stakeholder voices on the LWRCC, we can make this a landmark of extraordinary dimension for Fort Worth. It is an idea whose time has come. Consider our city with a connection of green space from this lake 
the Nature Center, the Trinity Corridor, and eastward clear to Gateway Park. That is indeed world class. Again, we gratefully acknowledge the very important efforts of Ms. Dana Bergdorf and the Planning Department who have been instrumental in communicating with us through these past many months to bring this vision into the city's comprehensive plan. Respectfully yours, the four neighborhood associations on the shoreline of Lake Worth. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I'm so, so happy that we were able to come to, uh, <laughs> to an amicable agreement. And uh, I think you'll be very pleased with how it goes. In fact, I know you will because you'll be a part of it. So thank you again. As you can see, we were successful in gaining a voice for the Shoreline residents in the Lake Worth vision process. Through the organization that we're doing, we are earning the respect that we need. Now, it's your time to act. Plan on voting in the runoff election. We're in this together. I'm Michael Dallas.